Hey guys, George here. Um, time to talk about my veganism or my plan on being vegan, having a vegan diet, whatever. Um, five years ago, or in 2013, I started writing up a blog about uh, being vegan and now I would eventually like to try the vegan diet. Um, five years later, I'm here now and I'm just going to share a few things with you that make it really easy for me. At the moment, I'm going to make this video basically just on snacks. Um, just to show there's plenty out there uh, without even looking um, and we'll go from there right things like simple things like that a little packet nuts seeds whatever I've got several of these knocking about just no nice snacks stick them in your pocket stick them in your bag go with it uh, vegan bounce bars again tasty we got a lot I shop a lot at um, Aldi get a lot of food from Aldi uh, bars, what else we got, we got pulsing bars, um, there is a bit of a thing about these, most of the food is absolutely vile if you, if you're used to, uh, if you're used to eating junk, I'm not even sure if these are vegan, I've just grabbed them out of the cupboard, I believe they are, um, I mean simple things like, obviously rice and seeds, it's all vegan, even vegan ice cream or yoghurt because I like uh, Greek yoghurt but I've swapped it for that. Granted the calories are different, uh, the macros are different which I'll explain now. I've even got vegan cheese, I'm not a massive cheese lover anyway but I've got it just to try it. And um, it's not really going to help me in my life because th there's no protein in it. Um, the things that I like from proper cheese, cow's uh, milk cheese dairy cheese um, it's higher in protein so that was one reason I'd like to have cheese in my diet got more bars um, just simple fruit bars that are basically just apple and banana and that's it raw bars again just made of nuts and seeds all squashed together um, I am in the process of figuring out how to make all my own food instead of buying all this food um, and I'll show you a couple of examples now that I might not agree with, such as the cheese. I mean, I've got more veggie stuff down here. Um, what else we got? We've got Beyond Bars that are vegan. Um, more That's It Bars from Aldi. Uh, what else we've got down here? More nuts. Um, vegetable crisps. Nothing to do with vegan, but I personally like those myself. They're not healthy, they're not good for you. Most of this is, well, a lot of it's healthy, but it's not exactly going towards a bodybuilding diet, is it? I mean, an average person could live off this and live quite healthy compared to chips and pizza. Um, but these are literally just snacks. Uh, protein, if I want to up my protein. Now, this stuff is absolutely vile. If, if you're used to whey protein and you go onto this, you'll, you'll throw your guts up. It's vile. Um, this is the one I'm just trying now, I got this yesterday, blueberry and raspberry vegan, it's about £11 for 500, kil uh, 500 grams from Holland and Barrett which suits me at the moment because I get to try different flavours. That, I've had that now for the last couple of years, I usually buy the 25 kilogram from uh, my protein simply because it's cheaper and um, that's it really. Um, that is absolutely vulgar, it's just about good enough for human consumption, it's vile. Um, strawberry, which I had one of those last night, that's perfectly edible, or drinkable. Uh, bananas, probably one of my favorite ones. They're, they are all absolutely revolting though, let's not get that wrong. I'm just trying to blueberry now while my breakfast is cooking, which I'm having a bean burger. Um, but I'll talk more about my meals later. My protein at the moment, especially if I'm having a shake to make up my protein, I can easily get 250 grams a day, no problem whatsoever. I'm having more carbs, more fats, because it, it comes sort of natural with the food. Now, the difference is when I was on meat, I was basically eating meat and veg, meat and veg, meat and veg. There's nothing really wrong with that, but there's no variety. I wouldn't even add like nuts into it or anything like that. Um, it would be basically meat and veg and then Quest bars and artificial flavoured bars and all those type of bars, the high protein bars. We used to go mad on them, I used to eat them religiously. But um, in all honesty now, I'd rather pick up a pack of those or one of those. If you can see it, they're revolting as well. Um, yeah, just just simple things that are more 
nut seed related um, and I'm quite happy with it it's all a learning curve but again I didn't realize all this food was out there and I would have never found out about it if I didn't put myself through it so these are literally a few snacks that I've got in the cupboard I've got a ton more stuff in there um, so there's no excuse for me to go hungry or no excuse me uh, when I go out or traveling or whatever, I can just put, pick my stuff up and go and that's it. Um, there's nothing wrong, again, there's absolutely, I'm the odd one out, I shouldn't be eating like this uh, while going to the gym, it just doesn't make sense. But for an average person that doesn't go to the gym, being vegan is really easy. Um, but it, it could be a bit more expensive, mind. But um, obviously shop around and see what you find and make your own food. Um, I'm hoping to make some oat bars with protein powder just mash it all together and stick it in the fridge and uh, make my own bars like that um, also make my own meals from scratch that i think that's very important because even going to the shop and buying vegan food i don't think it's as good for you uh, i think a lot of it's processed and that so i'm not promoting vegan food like that but you can't really go wrong with simple things like nuts and seeds and that it is just general health um so yeah, my Greek yogurt, I've swapped that out now for vegan ice cream. But again, Greek yogurt was good. It was high in protein. I was having about 25 gram of protein in half a tub, which I had every night with a scoop of protein. So that's giving me nearly 50 gram of protein as a treat as well. It's a treat, not a meal. Uh, but having the ice cream, there's nothing in it that is really good for me. Um, um, I also have uh, soya milk, uh, unsweetened or, or almond milk sweetened, which I've got. And looking at the back of the pack, there's... It's all water, sugar, and then like 2% soya. So I'm not saying it's good, not in any way, shape, or form. But what I am saying is I enjoy it, and this is what I want to do, um, at least short term. Uh, so yeah. Oh, another thing about vegan. Um, five years ago, when I started looking into it, it was quite different to how it is now. Now it has sort of gone like the word protein. I mean, I, I bought into it a lot as well. Protein bread, protein bites, protein pasta, protein bars, protein goddamn coffee, protein hot chocolate, you name it, anything with protein, it sort of suckers you in and uh, you, you feel like it's going to work towards your goal. Um, whereas obviously raw food is going to be better. Not raw food, I mean like if you're gonna eat eggs, eat eggs or chicken and chicken rather than buying all this stuff. So um, yeah, uh, vegan's gone the same there. You got vegan McDonald's, vegan vegan everything whatever you want as a substitute for it uh starbucks even do dairy free alternatives for your coffee and that so you can have almond oat or some coconut uh milk i think so wherever you go being a vegan now is really easy but to have a good healthy diet i think that's a completely different thing vegan is easy having a good nutritious um, diet that works towards say building muscle or whatever is a completely different thing so that's it um, yeah I'll make another video with actual food and not snacks but I just wanted to get this out there for me mainly because I wanted to and that's it take care everyone goodbye for now